people. Happy Friday, May 13th. I just wanted to come on. I haven't been able to upload any videos because I'm with my phone. So I said I can come live and just give everybody an update on what's growing, you know. And if y'all been seeing my shorts, y'all know that the gardenias is showing out. Okay, look at that. They smell so amazing. They smell so amazing. And if you see all of the blooms, look how many blooms. They're just all over the place. See all of these? Those are blooms. This is what they look like when they start unfolding. Hello, welcome. Let me show you one. Here's another one that just unfolded. Let me see. Yeah. So it was nice. I woke up one morning and look at the, the beautiful green with the gardenias. And I love the smell of gardenias. And it's funny because when I moved here, I was actually looking for a gardenia plant. I moved here when it was cold. And lo and behold, there was one already on the property. Ain't that something? But yeah, you see all of the blooms. So it's plenty more to come. I'm making sure we haven't had much rain, so I'm making sure I get it watered. Okay, that's enough of me doting on the blooms of the gardenias. Yeah, I've never smelled them. They smell amazing. Ah, uh, here's my apple tree. Hey, Nikki. Oh, no. Oh, cool, cool. I was about to come out and water mine, and I was just giving an update. Here's my Satsuma. It's got a little piece of fruit on it. And, um, oh, y'all, my heart is broke to see my little baby. Can I see my little kitty over there? He's over there. We lost his brother a couple of days ago. I had to put my big boy down. Um, not much update on the fig trees, but they're holding on out there. Okay, good. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice evening. 79. I got some blooms on the Blackberry plants. I did see some berries. Yep, here, like this one is. The difference between these and the one on the side of the road is I believe I picked up thornless. So we got a few berries showing over here. I know, girl, my heart was hurt. <laughs> it still is a little bit, but I'm better. Thank you. Got some berries on this one. And this little one got some berries. And this jasmine, many blooms. I'm trying to train it to go up this trellis. One over here. Did I say jasmine? Yeah, that is jasmine. And over here, I need to pull this collard up. And this jasmine over here, all of the blooms. And so I was going to run it through the fence, but I, I think I'm going to put it on the trellis. So we're heading over here towards... my garden 
And what do we have going on over here? We have the squash over here showing out. Now, I'm not sure what squash I planted this year. Look at it, grabbing hold of everything. Then grab hold of this. But it's vining. I guess we can look in there, this yellow. There it go. We see some fruits. Let's look in here. And it's just running. It's running. Yep, a little bit of yellow. That's what kind it is. I don't know the difference between squash and zucchini. I'd be lying if I did. I thought it was all the same. I put the hot cayenne pepper. Did you, Nikki? Let me see what you say. So, yeah, so I bought the jasmine plant last year, and it did look sad. But it's doing her, she doing her thing. They doing their thing. Go a couple of onions. Me too. I am looking for more fragrances, uh, Nikki, that I can put throughout my yard. So... As you walk throughout the property and the wind blows or you just catch a whiff of those fragrances. Yes. <laughs> and so you see these vines? Yes. I, like I said, it's a different type. See the little squash they grab and hold of each other and i just put this trellis here but yeah i didn't have this problem last year i understand i understand nikki i appreciate you being here but that thing is growing so i had plenty of stuff in here and here look at her and nothing grew so i just put this in the ground i bought this and put that in the ground about three days ago the same time i put this red romaine i don't know what's what's going on with this um hey girl hey girl hey look at her. um broccoli cabbage and uh, brassicas all the greens i think <laughs> and this little red romaine thing i don't know what's going on with this um soil i thought i you know recharged it but i put some uh bone blood bone bone meal blood meal something today and hopefully that'll bring it back to life maybe it's missing some nitrogen and then I got the pineapple sage, which is doing good in here. Whatever I put in there didn't come up. Them all weeds. Then I got a purple bell over here. Uh, about three or four days ago. And I got the lunchbox orange. See that bright, that black right there? That's the blood meal or the blood somebody. And so I haven't uh, mixed it throughout here. I just put it down earlier. So evidently, this is the one that I grew last year. Yep. You see the little thing? There's one. There's one. Because these are not crawling. These are not vining. There's another one. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to have some food. So that'll be the first harvest out of here. Now, in these two buckets, I have, what did we put in here? Beets and carrots. I don't know what them look like. Thank you, Nature and Quotes Cafe. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. And you know, Rosemary, she, she never stopped. She a no limit soldier. She never stopped. She, she grew over the winter and she's still going. 
And you know, that was a deterrent for whatever comes out from the field. And I guess it worked because nothing ate at my garden. That lemon balm over there is doing great. Yeah, I appreciate you for being here. I was just walking through my garden and this was full of, I planted stuff, but it didn't grow. This one and this one. And so the only thing made it, other than the, they my dandelions. What is them thing called? Oh, marigolds. The only thing made it over here is the marigolds and this one Brussels sprout. So I have repotted, restarted some seeds. And I forgot what this was, but it's supposed to be for the aphids, I think. It's a companion planter or whatever. And so over here, the cantaloupe and watermelon is doing pretty good, pretty good. And like I said, all the marigolds did good, but the stuff that I planted around it, I should have way more food. But hey, that's okay. Let's look at the cucumbers. I mean, I planted a little bit of everything. Here are the cucumbers. And that's about it. Nothing else came up. When I tell y'all I'm planting about 10 to 15 seeds and see that bed look naked, don't it? Everything you see in here no, this marigold came from seed. <laughs> that rosemary, no lemon. But everything else is plants that I bought. And the condition of that romaine lettuce is probably telling me the condition of this dirt. But these butter, butternut squash, they holding on. But as you see, I bought them. But everything that I put in as seeds, they're not growing. This cabbage was here from the winter time. We see the um, chocolate mint done jumped out. I think that's mint done jumped out and doing its own thing. Yeah, I had planted some sorrel. I think that's what this is, sage. And let me see. So about a week ago, I, plant, I put some seeds in the ground, which most of them aren't doing too good. The only thing that's coming up is cucumbers. So something is not right. I got carrots, I got sorrel. Um, yep, more carrots. Hey, girl. This California sweet peppers ain't showed up yet. They MIA. Romaine lettuce, MIA. Cantaloupe, MIA. The first time ain't gonna like this report. Got soldiers missing in action. But, okay, <laughs> I tried to cover them up and everything. What is you doing, girl? You know what I'm excited about? The lemon cucumbers. Can you see that? So, five of them are coming up. I'm excited about that. They look so good. They shape like a lemon. Hey. And what is that, echinacea? And my, what is that? Strawberry. I bought this this morning, I think. Some lemon thyme. So, like I said, I also bought the blood meal. And so I'm putting that in all of my vegetables. Um, I'm gonna see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna see 
because my soil is lacking something as to why none of those seeds came up. And I put them in, in the beginning of March. Yeah. And the only thing came up. So this should be an indicator and a lesson as a gardener. The only thing came up was squash and cucumbers. That's the only thing that came up from seeds. Hey, Tara, thank you for joining. Thank you for coming on and supporting me. I'm just going through my garden, seeing what ain't bloomed and what has bloomed. And so what I'm gonna do is, out of all the seeds I planted, the squash and the cucumbers, thank you. They came up, but everything else didn't come up. And one Brussels sprout. So I'm going to see what, what those plants don't need and what the other ones need. And it'll be a lesson learned. But like I said, the, the black you see is bone meal. No, blood meal, which is nitrogen. So I'm putting nitrogen in here, and we're going to see... Hey, Jessica Marie, thank y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank y'all for coming on. Yeah, but my I put this red romaine in there. I know, right? That lemon cucumber. And whatever the condition of the soil is, this is what it did to the red romaine lettuce. And so I'm going to work this blood bone, this blood meal through there. And we're going to see. But like I said, Mr. Mr. over here is thriving. The uh, squash is thriving. So, yeah. But thank y'all again for coming. And my cayenne pepper doing real good. And my neighbor gave me those onions. And they're doing pretty good. I don't know. Let me show y'all. I don't that some of y'all haven't seen. I got some fruit. A little squash coming up. And these are from seed. I am wonderful, Jessica Marie. How are you? This wonderful Friday. Was everybody productive this week or today? You know, what do y'all got planned this weekend? Where are you going? Anybody going anywhere exciting? Has anyone started venturing out since the pandemic and some of the restrictions have been lifted? I'm going to go back over here and show y'all the gardenia, the ones that haven't seen it. I'm so proud of my gardenias. Y'all have no idea. They smell so heavenly. And like I said, to come out early in the morning and see this tree, this green with all of the white speckles. I feel like God did that just for me after my kitty died. Okay, so Tara, all I knew is I grew up around a garden. We always had a garden, but I didn't, you know, I was in there playing back in the day. But now, just by faith in the garden community on YouTube, ooh, that sounds nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. some hot yoga, yes. But the garden community on YouTube, hey, I figured you get some dirt, you get some seeds, you put it in the ground. And regardless of how seasoned a gardener is, they are operating off of faith. They don't know if it's going to come up or not. But they're believing that it will. You too, Jessica. Thank you for stopping by. And that's actually where the name of my channel um, 
grace to garden. Well, instead of saying garden, you can say grace to live. And so what I want to do on this channel is parallel life in the garden. You know, so many lessons, so many things to learn. And in the garden community, you can talk to everybody that's been in it for a while. Sometimes things grow and some seasons they don't. You can do the exact same thing you did this year that you did last year. And some things just won't grow. grow. You know, it's not their season. It's not their time. And so, yes. Um, but yeah, so I ain't know anything, Tara. Oh, definitely. If you look on, um, I was going to say on my page, look at some of the people I'm subscribed to. But, oh, it's wonderful. And I'll send you links of... You know, there are lives going on almost every day of the week where people are talking about, you know, their different experiences. Everyone is so helpful. And if you're in an apartment and you don't have, you don't even have to have much land, if any land, you have people in the garden community that are gardening out of containers on their balconies. Uh, one lady's channel is called the Container Gardener. Okay, Nikki. Put the head in up a little. You too. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate you. But yeah, so Tara, it, it doesn't matter if you got the land or not. You can do it from your balcony. You can do it from um, just small areas. Some people, thank you. Yes, hit the like button. Uh, some people garden vertically. So you have channels that are dedicated to gardening vertically because they don't have any space. And so you don't have to live on a farm or have any amount of land to grow your own food. You can grow your own lettuce, celery, onions, carrots, make your own salads. And if you juice, you know, yeah, you, you grow them. You cut them and they grow back. So, yeah. I'm not going to hold you guys here for long. But I hope I answered your questions, Tara. I'm going to send you. See. They're the security guard. In the house. Your basil plant. It might have been getting too much on or not enough sun. So you know, see that's why I let my security guards come to the garden and roam around. Because if anything is out of the ordinary, they gonna be alerted to it, y'all see. He see something. Now if y'all see things shaking, the phone drop, y'all know whatever it is, I ran. Let me back up on that note. <laughs> Whatever he done found, we're going to let him. We're going to let him have it over there. I don't want to be in the vicinity at all. <laughs> when it come out. We don't know if it's big. We don't know if it's little. We just know he sees something. But yeah, so I think I'm done for this evening. Look at those beautiful, that beautiful yellow. Ain't that gorgeous? Look at the sun is hitting it. I need to cut these off, cut these back. Ready. Reaching towards the sun. The evening sun. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, I didn't know you were still on here, Tara. But yes, 
So, and then, like, like let's say when you see your basil plant die, you know, you can ask questions on people's lives and um, they'll be supporting you and they'll tell you to try this or try that or some of them can see it and be like, oh, you need to do this or oh, you need to do this because basil plants need this or they don't need a lot of this. They don't like a lot of this. And so just trial and error, just like life, you know, Tara. So just, you know, if you think about it, every day of life is new. You've never experienced today before, you know? And so, um, but you're here. You got up and you did what you thought you needed to do. And you encountered some new things, which is everything. So we didn't come into, we were not born into this world being able to do anything. Everything was a first. So same with gardening. You know it's something that you would like, uh, maybe even need, especially with the uh, prices of food and everything. Look at her down there. Um, and so you might be like, hey, the prices of food is going up. I need to get to growing some things. And you know what, Tara? It tastes so much different, differently than what you get in the store. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I always feel like I sound goofy. <laughs> um, when people come out and I feed them the food or we eat food out of the garden, they're like, this tastes, this doesn't even taste like it does in the store. Hey, Doobie. Hey, Doobie Bear. He's not doing well. His brother, I had to put one of my cats down the other day. So he's kind of in mourning. Oh, uh, so... Yeah, so it tastes different. And so I'm excited to see you try. Um, and once you get on one page, I, you know, I'm always looking in the comments to see what people are saying. I know, Tara, girl, my heart was bro been broke for two days. Yesterday, I'm a lot better today. I teared up a little bit today when I seen his brother over there laying, looking out in the woods for him. Um, the, the vet said he got caught up in a, a fan, the fan of a vehicle. Um, uh, he just came out of the woods and I couldn't find him all day. And as I was closing out for the night, cause I take their food and put it in the house. And, um, I started hearing him for like a cry meow. And he came out of the woods and his two back legs were kind of, they were turned where he was like walking on them like nubs. Anyway, so the, the, the doctor, the vet said, that's what happened in his severed nerves. So, um, yeah, so he tried to save him. He tried to get the circulation back and it wouldn't, he wouldn't have had any quality of life. And he said he wouldn't be able to make it without both legs. Maybe one, but not both of them. So, yeah, had to put him down. My big boy, my big booty, my big white baby. And that was his sister. He was all white. All white. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was about two days ago. So, yeah. I don't know, you didn't, oh, I had put it, I put, when I was at the vet with him, I had put up on my Snapchat when I was at the vet and had to say bye to him. And so that's his sister down there, his biological sister. <laughs> he came from the same litter. Oh, thank you, it was rough. Hey, Planner Garden TV. Thanks for stopping by. See, uh, Tara, how people are popping in? The majority of people that have popped in are people from the garden community. They're very supportive. Like Planner Garden TV be over there. I think he in Jamaica somewhere. 
wonderful. He has a beautiful garden. And so you can go on his page and ask questions. And people answer. They're happy to share their wisdom and knowledge. Um, yeah, it's such a wonderful community, the garden community here on YouTube. And see how they'll come over. If they can't stay that long, they'll come over and support you live and, you know, say a few things. And, yeah, it is. And so, ooh, where you at? No, oh, you way up in Kansas or Missouri, ain't you? Because next week in Savannah, Georgia, we're having a meetup of uh, the YouTube garden community. Yeah, you up there. And, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's, it's all weekend. It's the, in Black Tropical, their website, their um, YouTubers. And so they're hosting it, and it's called, I think, Black Tropical Expo. It's a garden expo. But, yeah, everybody does lives every week. There's a couple of people that do lives every week. Y'all, I'm just in love with these gardenias. I really am. Have you ever smelled gardenias? They are amazing. They are amazing. And look how they, let me find one that has unfolded. So you see where the bud, these are what the buds look like. And so they start unfolding. I know, right? That's one of them unfolding. Let me see, here's another one. Look at that. Oh, how cool. So where, where does your mom live? And so look at this one unfolding. Ain't that just gorgeous? That one's unfolding. I can just sit here and look at this. And you know what? This did not... I might have had two or three blooms from this last year. So it didn't do very well. But it's like, uh, the I guess the day, the morning after I had to put the cat down, and I came outside, and it was blooming like this. And it was just like God said, here you go. I know you're going to need some flowers. I know you're going to have a moment, you know. And it's just, it was wonderful to see the blooms, because I'm like, these were just for me, you know? That's what I feel like, they were just for me. Here's another one unfolding. Gorgeous. And there's so many more that have yet to bloom. Let me just see all of the, all of these are the blooms. So I'll come out tomorrow, and there'll be some more. Oh, how cool. Yeah. How cool. I wish you could smell it. Oh, really? You know what? I think I, I thought I seen something that you posted. And I was like, oh, she was right around the corner in Georgia. Because I'm in Alabama. Yes. Yep. Here's my little Satsuma. They're like. I think they're like miniature oranges, like orange sort of summer. And I got one on here. I just planted this last. And the fig trees, cherry tree, not doing well. And my apple trees. And the goal is to be outside. My grandchildren or anybody can be outside and not have to go in the house to eat if they don't want to. And just having fresh food around the yard. And here's Berry Row. This is Berry Row. I have blackberries, 
raspberries and blueberries. Supposedly, I don't know what happened to my blueberries because all I see is blackberries. See the berries? Yep. And then these are the infamous grapevines. I didn't share the grapevines. They're looking really nice. See if I can get up close and find some miniature. Um, yeah. There goes some. They don't ripen. They don't come out until. Can you see the little, little bitty? Little bitty grapes. They don't um, mature until like September, June, July, August. The end of August or September. You can just see them. And there's a lot of those. <laughs> and there's another one over there. <laughs> Yep. And so I was over here sitting on the sitting on the patio in my rocking chair and I said, you know what? It's cool. I was about to go water my gardenia plant and I said, let me update everybody because out here um I can't always update, I mean uh, upload videos. They take like forever. Like a six minute video took like half a night. I went to sleep around eight and woke up in the morning and it still wasn't loaded. That's how slow the internet is out here. And so I said, well, let me update everybody by way of live, cause it'll just go in. And you know, it'll get uploaded immediately. It's on the platform. See, uh, Tara. So, you know, people garden out of buckets. So you don't have to have any property. And again, people garden vertically. Where well, there's a wheel, there's a way. If you want some food and you want to grow it, you can do it. Hey, girl. She, the, the way you could tell he, well, her brother was a lot bigger than her and his tail wasn't fluffy. He was short haired and she was long haired. And he was just the sweetest thing. All my cats are actually sweet. Sweet, sweet. Yep, and so that's the update. I'm gonna go well, make sure my gardenia, thank you, her name is Pootie. P O O dash T. <laughs> I'm making sure my gardenia ain't that something. I watered everything else this morning along with the gardenia, but I'm about to make sure that the gardenia is watered because you see all them blooms, they need some water. So nothing else needs to be watered today. Actually, this one probably don't, but we ain't taking no chances. I like coming out every morning and having new blooms on the gardenia. On the gardenia tree. And the thing about it is, when I moved here, I didn't know what it was, and it almost um, got chopped down. Matter of fact, everything around it had burned. If you see this big old spot, that was a big old bush and a big old tree. And I couldn't get this part. And after it sat there for a couple of weeks, I got about two blooms, like showing me what it was. Like, hey, 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 don't cut me. I'm something that you asked for. I mean, I'm something that you've been praying for. Ain't that something? You might miss it. 
Ain't that something? How how heartbreak broken would you be if you killed something that you've been praying for? That reminds me of the story of Isaac, uh, Abraham, when he had to take Isaac up and he was about to kill him. And God, the angel of the Lord said, called his name up. So we have to have clarity. You seen the grapes planter garden TV? Are you in Jamaica, planter garden TV? You somewhere in the Caribbean, ain't you? Yep, I got there's just two of them. Let me see if I can. They're about 30 yards long. Can you see how long they are? They go all the way, all the way, all the way down. Yeah. It was so many of them. There was not, there was, we couldn't get them. Our neighbors, everybody. We didn't even put a dent in them. And so as they were ripening and getting bad and whatever, it just, the fragrance was, you could smell it. It smelled like wine. Thank you, though. It smell like wine throughout the property. I don't know if my little my little cherry tree it looks like it got burned. I need to come cut this. It looked like it got burnt during the uh, freeze. And so just like I learned from one of the gardeners Essie Homestead she said if you can scratch a piece and it's still green it's still alive which my lemon tree down there it still got some green on it but you would think girl take that thing up it's dead but it still got green i haven't i haven't done that one but i'm still watering and hoping as a matter of fact let me give you some water in the cherry tree Oh, and it's like she out there looking for her brother. That's when he she walked from out in the woods. So we're gonna get a little bit more water today. And hope. And this little fig tree is doing very well. They've been in the ground for about probably about eight or nine months. And they were holding on for a while. I didn't think they was going to make it. But you see them, they're doing pretty good now. If the deer came over here to this side, I don't know what they would be looking like right now. I don't think the deer know they're over here. I don't think the deer know this is over here. They stay, they come from that side. And... I have an oak tree in the front, and they usually eat the acorns from the oak tree, and I guess that's sufficient. Now, technically, could these be in um, planters or flower pots? Yes, they could. They probably could be in there for about two more years. But I don't, uh, I'm not keen to find a, a bunch of plants sitting around pots <laughs> till I get a little more organized and here are my two apple trees I see some blossoms on it I don't know if that's cotton they look like some little spit on it they look like a bird But yeah. So y'all, I thank y'all for stopping by. I done been on here for 45 minutes, which I hadn't planned on. But I appreciate your support. I appreciate the interaction. I appreciate the company. 
you know, YouTube, doing lives and interacting with people's YouTube and everything, it makes you feel like you're actually engaging with people. <laughs> And you are, don't get me wrong. You're, you're gay engaging with people, but it's like they're right there. And so, yeah. See, it's just another extended family. Just pulling in. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful Friday. I don't know what's going on with my aloe vera. I know part of it was the freeze and tried to cut some of it off and hopefully she'll bounce back. I think she will. Aloe veras are, are resilient. They're hardy plants. Don't have to do a lot with them. And so got these two beds and I haven't been able to uh, put them together but I decided I'm gonna put them somewhere else but I gotta dig up that part of the land and it's very hard so here they sit and then before I go with my peaches here's the rest of the grapevines. Here is Oh, I didn't get to share with y'all my peaches. See, I got a few peaches. This has only been here a year. Got about six or seven peaches. Y'all see them peaches? Peaches doing well. So this is peaches, and this is a plum tree, and this is the end of the grapevine. But yeah, I didn't get the sunset in today. I'm here, and that's my my lemon tree out there, which is still alive because it's still green at the bottom, and over here is an orange tree. So yeah. Anywho, y'all have a wonderful Friday. Wonderful Friday. The weather's beautiful. Be safe. Love on your loved ones. Let stuff go. Life is short and precious and wonderful. Be kind. Yes. Hey, talk. I've been saying tech. <laughs> you didn't correct me. It's talk. Talk. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, talk. See you later, Tara. I was just out here giving an update of my garden, talk. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your support. Did you see my um my peaches top? You take you see my peaches. And it's updating them on my grapevines. Yep, the grapevines go from here all the way there. Yeah, so here's peaches right here. And the tree, I only had it in there for a year. So we got some peaches coming. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. What time is it? Don't you have a live today? Or did I miss it? You made you made some change before uh 8 30 or 8 50 today. Didn't you? I was gonna get on that like I was on the one yesterday, but I'll go look at the replay. Did I miss it? Oh, 8 p.m. Okay, so, and you central time with me, right? Yeah. So, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, getting things right, because I'm taking notes. Trust me.
you made that much before 8.50, right? And you went with your day trading. Yeah. I'm going to show you one more thing, top, and I'm going to get off what I showed everybody earlier. You see my gardenia bush? Isn't she pretty? You probably seen her. But it's so beautiful. And you see how dark the leaves are? And then you have this beautiful white flower that's just like, bam! Aren't they gorgeous? And you can see where more are coming. More, more. And let me show you one that's about to unfold. Isn't that amazing? You see all of these that's coming? It's gonna be beautiful. Have you ever smelled gardenias? Here's another one unfolding. Have you smelled the actual gardenia flower? Look at that one unfolding. Okay. I'm going to stop. But they smell heavenly. I know you smelled it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, they use gardenias in a lot of different perfumes. So, yeah, you've smelled it. But, yeah, so I will see you in... Uh, where's my kitty? Where's my other one? I will see you in a few minutes. I'm going to go and get on my computer on my desktop so I can take notes. No, you know what? I brought my iPad out here so I can watch it outside and I brought my notebook. All right, thanks for stopping by. See you later. Goodbye, everybody. Cancel in.